just at the trap line cabin here out doing some setting so uh, I'm just editing my last video for my sunroom build figured it uh, fill in some gaps until I got some outdoor stuff well sunrooms outdoor stuff too but everybody's asked for trap videos but uh, I do a bit of everything so so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the videos uh, on the sunroom. I just figured I'd share it and maybe somebody's thinking about uh, incorporating logs into their sunroom or a building or whatever. And uh, maybe they'll pick up some helpful hints there. I don't usually explain stuff too much. I didn't go into detail and I did skip some parts uh, here and there because uh, sometimes I forget the video. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the series on the sunroom and uh, stay tuned for some some outdoors, snowmobiling, trapping, critters, ice fishing, whatever I get into in the winter, wood cutting, saw milling maybe, see how much snow we get. So anyway, hope you guys are all doing okay and uh, thanks for dropping by. Finish that off. So now I'm ripping the window jams, I guess you call it, and molding for outside because I'm going to build that first and put my windows in against. I just brought up one so to make sure it all fits. So I just washed it. It's got a label. It's just tempered glass. It's not double pane or nothing. But it'll do for now. Maybe someday I'll take them out and buy ones like these. But these were like, I don't know what they were, $400 each. So, got the fan on. It's this ripped cedar. It smells good in there, but it'll choke you up. Some boards I had. I ripped them last year to one inch. I'm kind of kicking myself for ripping them all now because I was thinking about making a door. So these are just going to be the outside moldings. And these are going to be what the window go up against. So I got to plane them all up now. Chop's a mess. Yep. Keep forgetting the video. Just doing the window trim here outside so I can get the siding on and get everything stained. Got tar paper up there. It's all right, it's turned out okay. The window will go up against there and then I'll put my casing in around. Yep. Two more to do. I just put cedar on it because when I stain it that'll be a little darker, I think. They're all about the same. Pretty damn close.
41 and 3 eighths. Same. 41 3 eighths. struck a screw. And you can't tap it with the hammer because it'll leave a mark. I got a punch somewhere, but I'm not looking for it right now. It's in there. You use a nail. Huh. That ain't working. There. A little bigger mark than the rest of it. Okay, now it's the facing. I'm leaving a bit of a reveal on the outside, so all the other ones is 41 and 3 quarter, and that's what that one will be, 41 and 3 quarters for that measurement. I got pretty sharp corners on them. I'll sand the edge when I get them all put on there. I think I'm going to put uh, a cap on the top too. For... We'll see. Okay. I got to do something right away first. Because I'm nailing in through my... I got two inch in there and I... The first window I forgot to change out two inch and a half. So they came through the back. So now I got to use my multi-tool and... The, Cut them off because that's where the window's going up against. Didn't realize it until after I had it almost all nailed. Porter cable, 16 gauge. Yep. Been a while since I looked at it, so. there. I'll put that up against there, I guess. Okay, Hornets, you can bugger off. I had enough of your bullshit for one summer. around the Christmas tree. Staples. Staples sticking out. is a little thin there because it's buttoned up against this so it worked out pretty good actually only guessed it yeah I've kind of filled in them logs quite a bit this one here's gonna be sticking out a bit like this one I don't know if you can see it let's 
see. But this is what it is. No plans. Change it as I go. Plane it. Make my measurements. Makes my make my sizes to adjust to everything. I should have put my tar paper on after this, but oh well. This is like a <laughs> some water shield on here. I just figure I'd give it a little bit of protection because it's gonna be wood siding, lap siding going on there. Or uh board and batten like my shop. That's what I think. Because if I go lap, it's only going to be like one and a half lap on top and bottom. It'll be okay over here, but... So I'm just going to go up and down. Yeah. Okay, we'll get the measurements on this one, which I already know what it is. Hopefully I got enough moldings, because there's some there, the knots came out of it, so... I'm only getting one piece out of it. Some I get two. Yeah, so it's... Some I'm only getting one piece of because there's knots in it. So a big chunk because the knot fell out. So I'm only getting one piece. So I might have enough. Let's see. Same. Got to shim a bit off of that one. Back to work tomorrow, so it'd be nice to get this done. Should get her now. Come on, the own stretch. I just need that in for some reason. Take much for the dent in that old cedar. Okay, oh. I just figured I'd show you doing one window. I don't know how well it came out. For you guys, I mean, for me, it was pretty good. Yep. September the 30th. He's putting the siding on, putting the battens on right now. Yeah, getting there. Got to get her stained before the frost hits. Cold weather stays. Be a while yet though, I say, but you never know. I might get a batch of snow. The weather, wind goes north. Got a fire going. A lot of leaves blowed off. Still lots on though. She's a sea of yellow. Or orange. Or with a hint of green. Yep. Still haven't got a door. $800 for a 36 inch door with a six inch jam. And if I want to put a slide and screen window in like this, another $500. Crazy. So that's why I haven't got this started here yet, because I got to do my 
jam around here, see what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna make a door, I might make one. It just all takes time. So, I'm gonna leave this for last. Some app staples. <clears throat> Just doing some staining. October the fifth. Like I said last time, I think I said uh, I got the back part left because I. Don't know what I'm going to do for a door there yet, so. Probably do the eaves tomorrow, we'll see. I didn't video stain it. Just trying to get it done. It's going down into one and two and zero. It's supposed to be minus three. Next couple nights. The leaves are pretty much all gone. We had a big wind the other night and took care of most of them. There's still a tint of orange around though. Yeah, it's coming along, slowly but surely. Just stain these two eaves. Put my windows in. I can feel the difference in there. They look pretty clean until I put them up there. It's warm in here now. I think she'll make a great uh, solarium or uh, seed starting room. Put trays all along there. Yeah.